ever feel like you're just like a leaf in the wind? Like you're getting pulled in so many different directions this way and this way and you have no control. You don't know how to be able to take back control of your time. Well, I'm here to help. My name's Joe Moffat with Master Life by Design and today's video is one simple strategy for prioritizing tasks as an entrepreneur to be more effective. We're gonna talk about the Eisenhower matrix here in a moment. So before we jump in, look, if you're a high performing entrepreneur, you're looking to overcome that stress and overwhelm in your life in areas of mindset, marriage, and business, this video, this channel, is for you because we wanna help you become more productive, more profitable, more fulfilled in your journey. And so before we jump in, big shout out to Michael Williams who subscribed to our channel on our last video. Thank you, Michael, appreciate you. If you subscribed and I didn't give you a shout out, let me know in the comments below because you deserve a shout out. So just type it in the comments. With that, let's jump in. After coaching thousands of entrepreneurs, what I found is a lot of them have a similar pattern. They struggle with time, with decision making, and with deciding what priorities they need to work on first. Because let's be honest, as an entrepreneur, no one's telling you what to do. You get to choose what you wanna work on. And if you have a big business and it's starting to grow and scale, the demands for your time massively increase. So how do we take back control? The biggest and most simplest way and simple strategy that I've found to be more productive and to reclaim your time, reclaim your power, be able to allow you to make decisions quickly is what's called the Eisenhower matrix. And so Stephen Covey came up with this concept around time management, prioritizing these four quadrants. And so I'm going to post a picture right here for you guys. So check it out and let's jump into this because it is so powerful when you actually use the Eisenhower matrix. I coach a lot of CEOs top leaders and executives, entrepreneurs, internet marketers, and the biggest challenge for them is when things are on their calendar and they're actually working towards what they set out for for today, things can hit them, come in at them. Hey, you need to do this meeting. There's this hot fire you gotta put out. This product doesn't, it launched, didn't work, right? Like there's so many demands for our time. So the Eisenhower matrix is so powerful and I love this one that I'm sharing with you guys because it allows you to understand where things need to go and more importantly, what do you need to do? So with that, the first one is, is it important and urgent? That first upper left quadrant, is it important and urgent? Because if it's extremely important and it's urgent and must get done now, you need to focus on doing it now that is the top priority i don't care what you have on your calendar unless it's a higher priority and just as important if not more important the highest priority and highest importance that needs to get done by you right now that is something you need to focus on now if you move over to the not urgent it doesn't need to get done right away but it is important you got to decide when do i need to work on this and what I love is you get to put that on your calendar. Now, yes, I know things can shift and important and urgent opportunity comes up, but you gotta decide, okay, this isn't what I need to be focusing on now, but I am gonna do this later in the day at four o'clock, or I will do this Friday at 10 a.m. You want to decide because what that does is it closes the loop in your mind and it gives you the certainty that you know when you're going to work on it. I can't tell you how many times I've seen this pattern for people. They say, oh, I'll do it later. And then they never know where it ranks amongst their priorities. And so it's kind of like just floating in the wind there. And then it stacks on top of all those other things that are floating around for them. And it makes them feel stressed. It makes them feel overwhelmed. And they just don't know, when am I ever gonna get to it? And it just feels like this weight is building. The best way to overcome that is to decide when does this need to happen. When I'm working with clients, if it's not an important, if it's important but not urgent, and it's an opportunity for them that they need to get done, that advance them in their goals or their business, one of the things I guarantee, I always make them do is, all right, let's stop and put it on the calendar right now. When are you gonna do that? And they're like, Friday. I'm like, great, what time? And they put it on their calendar so we have this definite time. Now again, if something important and urgent comes up, that takes priority. The bottom left corner is the urgent, but not important. <clears throat> it must get done, 
but it's not important for you to do. So what do we need to do? We need to delegate it. You have to learn that you gotta delegate, and this is a big challenge, and I'll talk about this in other videos. This is a big challenge for a lot of entrepreneurs is they don't learn to delegate, to leverage other people, to maximize their time, to fold time for them, and scale quickly. You have to delegate these non-important but urgent tasks, right? Like, so say you're running a company, and the bathroom toilet is overflowing. As a CEO, you're not gonna stop and go fix that toilet, even though it's urgent, but it's not important for you. So you gotta delegate who has to do this. And then the last one is the bottom right corner is the not urgent and not important. And if it's not important and it's not urgent, you could delete it or you could even delegate it. I've seen that as a lower priority because most of the time for high performers, there's always something important and urgent or something urgent but not important coming up. And so when we can start to delegate them, and in this case, you would delete it, right? Like, I don't know, for example, you need to dust the, you know, the office, right? That's not important and it's not urgent unless you got a lot of allergies and it's you know screwing up your performance. But you usually like, eh, I don't need to do it. <clears throat> or you can hire someone to do it. Delegation, right? So the Eisenhower matrix becomes so powerful because now what happens as you're living your life, as you're building your business, as you're going throughout your day and things are coming at you that you need to tackle or address, you now get to decide, is this important and urgent? Is it urgent but not important? Is it important but not urgent? And I think I said that already. <laughs> Is it not urgent, not important? And so anyway, where does it fall within the Eisenhower matrix? Because then you know exactly what to do. For example, I had a CEO I was coaching one time and we went through the Eisenhower matrix so that they can be more productive, less stress and overwhelm, and be able to be uh, to take back of the time, their control, to be able to prioritize. And what he did was he had a bin, four bins. He went to the, got someone to go to the dollar store or whatnot, and he had four bins on his desk. And he labeled them all important and urgent, urgent but not important, important but not urgent, not urgent, not important. And what he did is when things came at him, if it was, a, you know, he had to go through a, a pitch deck or, you know, had to go through paperwork, he would place it in according uh, the proper bin. If it was just something that came up, he wrote it on a piece of paper and he would put it in the proper bin. He knew he was very visual. So if you're a visual person, if you're, your modality of learning of, processing information is visual, this is a great way. Of If you're auditory, you can record voice messages and then go back and listen to them. However, I love the BIM because it's front and center, because out of sight, out of mind, right? So he was 10 times more effective as he was able to see where he was at. And he would work on his important and urgent. He would delegate where he needed to delegate. He would take on what he needed to take on and he would delete if he needed to delete it whatever worked for him, depending on what was coming at him. This is a simple strategy, yet extremely powerful when you can adopt it. So after a while, you might not even need that. You just start thinking, okay, is this important or urgent? Yes, I need to do this. Or is it urgent, but not important, right? And so if it's urgent, but not important, you can delegate it. And so you start to understand this. And as you have that muscle being built over time, your productivity goes through the roof. You'll find that you're accomplishing way more and a lot less time. Because what happens is, when we get stressed and overwhelmed, we waste time kind of, what do I do, and debating. When you have this system in place of the Eisenhower matrix, it allows you to decide and prioritize immediately. You don't have to waffle back and forth and sway back and forth where to go. And when things come at you, you're not like a leaf in the wind anymore. You're like a tree in the wind where you could sway a little bit, but you stay sturdy on what you need to do. You implement this, watch how your business grows, watch how your stress and overwhelm decreases and how you feel more confident and powerful and you achieve so much more at the end of the day. This is one of my favorite strategies in my own personal life and my professional life to be able to help people break through and take and reclaim their time back for them. So with that being said, I'm gonna challenge you. 
I challenge you to implement this for three days, just three days, Monday through Wednesday. Pick that time and just focus on it. Go make the bins if you need to, to help you. And let me see, measure, how was your productivity for that day? How much better and more effective? How much more time did you get back? How much more did you achieve? I guarantee you, you will be 10 times more productive because I know high performing entrepreneurs, they have such a demand on their time and their attention that when you have a system like this in your tool belt, you're way more effective. With that being said, like this video. I know you found value in it, so make sure that you subscribe. Subscribe, turn on that notification because we're coming at you three times a week for all you high-performing entrepreneurs that want to upgrade, go to that next level in the areas of mindset, marriage, and business. We're going to be coming out with videos on all these areas on your biggest challenges so that you can break free, go to the next level, and be able to have that life that you want to consciously create. If you find like you're stuck though, I encourage you go in our description, fill out that one-on-one -on -one coaching application so one of our high-performing coaches can be able to help you break free, to give you that one-on-one -on -one attention that you need that allows you in your specific situation to grow past where you are. Stop running into the wall and allow us to help you. So with that, I'm excited for you guys. Let me know, comment below what your distinctions were after you go through these th that three-day challenge. Love to hear about it. With that, my name is Joe Moffitt with Master Life by Design. Have a great one. See ya.